Uh, well, thank you very much for your thoughts, and I'm happy to yield uh, whatever time he'd like to speak to my friend from Colorado, Mr. Perlmutter. Well, and I thank my friend from Maine, and uh, this subject is so serious and so infuriating because it's absurd. Uh, we have shut down our government. We're like the only country in the world that does something like this and inflict harm on our employees, on Americans, and on America. We've had a gentlelady I see here from Virginia is in the chamber. She talked about national security being placed at risk. The, the fact that we've done this to ourselves is uh, really difficult, and I would just say to the President, uh, Madam Speaker, that it's time to reopen this government. We've offered 11 versions of how to reopen the government. But I want to talk about some stories because the psychological effect that the gentlelady from Maine talked about really has an impact on these employees. And I want to talk about a young man who works um, for the uh, uh, National Park Service. He's in the Natural Resource Technical Division. So what he does is he goes to the national parks and deals with faults and different kinds of uh, geological problems that may exist. And they work throughout the year, but particularly at the time when uh, it is, the parks are not very crowded. And this is something that is very important. He's worked for the uh, Park Service for 19 years, and then all of a sudden he believes that nobody saw this coming, and he's furloughed with young children. And he described it as this doesn't know when we're going to get back to normal. Everything's on hold. It just sucks. The mental side is crushing. I'm sad, I'm angry, I'm demoralized. And it, this sitting around just twiddling your thumbs, hoping that the greatest nation on earth opens back up for business, eats away at my soul. He's got a brother-in-law that works for the Border Patrol. He is an EMT and a field agent with four children. He's a first responder not getting paid. And this gentleman, we ask him to provide border security, and he's not getting paid, and he's under the pressure of having a young family that needs these paychecks and needs stability and reliability. We had folks from the Fish and Wildlife that came in and talked to us. Deals with aquatic and invasive species like the zebra mussel, which really can gum up water systems throughout the country. There was a big conference of Canada and the, United, the Western United States. That got canceled. When in fact we should be making sure these rivers and our, our uh, waterways are in good shape they're getting affected. There are so many things. We talk about the front-facing individuals that talk to the public, the TSA, the uh, FBI, uh, those individuals, but we have so many other employees who provide service to each and every one of us that are either working without pay or have been furloughed without any end in sight. This is no way to run a nation. We know that. The absurdity of all of this is really taking hold, and it's time for us to open this government. This can be resolved quickly, Mr. President. Let's just get this government open, and then let's sit down and negotiate all of this. With that, I yield back to my friend from Maine. Thank you, and thank you for taking the time to share those stories with us. It's